biometric kit wiring instructions. Don't forget to always isolate your connections with electrical tape or wire nuts. First, cut off the end of the power supply wire. On the transformer, identify the positive and the negative wires. Always remember that the positive side has white dashes along the wire and the negative side is solid black. On the biometric reader, identify the positive, which is the red, the negative, which is the black, the common, which is the orange, and the normally closed, which is the purple wire. Connect the positive from the biometric reader, which is the red wire, to the positive from the transformer. Connect the negative from the biometric reader, which is the black wire, to the negative from the transformer. Now connect the common from the biometric reader, which is the orange wire, to the negative from the power supply or transformer. You should have now the normally closed purple wire free for the next step. On the motion sensor cable harness, you're going to identify the positive, which is the red wire, the negative, which is the black wire, the normally closed, which is the blue wire, and the common, which is the yellow wire. Connect the positive from the motion sensor, which is the red wire, to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative from the motion sensor, which is the black wire, to the negative of the power supply. Connect the common from the motion sensor, which is the yellow wire, to the normally closed of the myometric reader, which is the purple wire. Now you should have the normally closed or blue wire free for the next step. Connect the cable harness to the motion sensor. On the push button, identify the normally closed connector, which is marked NC, and the common connector, which is marked C. Now connect the normally closed from the motion sensor, which is the blue wire, to the common connector on the push button. Connect an extra piece of wire to the normally closed connector on the push button. Connect an extra piece of wire to the negative terminal of the maglock.
connect an extra piece of wire to the positive terminal of the maglock. Now you're going to connect the extra piece of wire from the push button normally closed to the negative wire coming from the mag lock. And you're going to connect the wire coming from the positive terminal on the mag lock to the positive wire of the power supply. Now you should have a fully operational kit. Just plug in the power supply and test your circuit. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you next time.